So in my last video I tried to break some of the strangest football world records and I managed to beat six of them. Well today I've got a collection of world records set by professional football players and I'm going to be seeing how difficult they really are. So the first world record we're going to be taking a look at is the longest drop kick and this was done by Edison who kicked the ball an incredible 75 metres. So I measured out 75 metres and it was a lot longer than I expected. Okay, we're going to have to go a lot further back. This is a lot further than I thought it was going to be. This is where I've got to reach and we're talking literally the whole way down here. That is insane. I've got to get from here all the way to that goal over there. I mean, let's try it. I do not think I'm going to get anywhere near this. Okay, so I think there's two techniques we can do with this. We can either go with the the, the drop and kick, which is like that, or just a straight out of the hands. This is what Edison did, bro. I think we'll go for the second one. I just feel like it's going to get more distance. We've got five attempts. It looks a long way away. Let's try it out. It's where it bounces. Oh my god. So as you can see, I was struggling to kick the ball even half the distance of Edison, which just shows you how difficult this really is. And I don't think it'll be getting broken for a while. Well, that was pathetic. This next record is set by two Tottenham players and it's the most two meter passes. Okay, so this next one is actually quite fitting given current circumstances. It's the two meter passing challenge, most passes completed in 60 seconds and the record is 50 so i'm pretty confident we'll be able to beat this one pretty easily so there's two meters so we attempted the world record and beat it by about 30 passes 75, 76, 77, 78, 79, 80. mate this world record like the easiest one has that just gone off we beat that by about 30. it turns out i didn't actually read it properly and it was actually the most passes in 30 seconds not 60 seconds so i grabbed my football ran back to the pitch and we tried it again <laughs> Go. So record number three was set by Ryan Sessignon. It's the quickest time to hit both posts and the crossbar. The rules for this record are that you can have any contact with the post, but you must hit the crossbar last. So it turns out trying to hit the post is actually very, very difficult. And this record overall was one of the hardest ones because there's a big element of luck involved. So I kept on trying this record until I got one official attempt where I actually had a time score. Yeah. 
So next up, we have a world record by Lionel Messi, where the record is to kick the ball as high as possible and control it the other side. He starts at the 10 metres and does this pretty easily. He then goes up to 13 metres. And finally, he sets the world record at 18 metres. And what's insane is he actually does it twice in a row. So obviously I didn't have a massive crane to show me how high I was kicking the ball. But I did some workings out and put a graph on screen to show you how high the ball's going. There's two techniques to the control with this. I can either come down with that, the lower ones might be all right. Or we've got the inside, which is what Messi did. We go nice and easy, 10 meters and control. Oh, it's gonna be difficult, man. There's 10. Oh, man. Ooh. Great touch. Okay. That's not too bad. Double that starts to become a problem. Go on. Yes. Oh, that was perfect that as well. That was 18 metres. Yeah, that was perfect. <laughs> Come on, sir. So the final world record is set by Ike Casillas and it's the record for the most goals scored from the halfway line in 60 seconds. And he set the record at 11 goals. So for this record, I only actually had 12 footballs with me, which meant I could not miss one shot. So the 60 seconds wasn't actually a problem, and with more footballs, I'm pretty sure I could have got a lot higher score. So here is my best official attempt.